Ryzen is rising to the top of the gaming chip market and giving Intel a run for their money. AMD's profits are up, consumers' expectations are being taken out to five-star restaurants. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Okay. And the newer kid on the processor block is gunning for the industry's number one spot. Get down! With the arrival of the Ryzen Zen 3 5000 and 6000 series, we're going to look at how and why advanced micro devices may be making the gaming chip of tomorrow today. For over a half a century, Intel has had close to a monopoly on the gaming chip market. The company formerly known as NM Electronics launched its first chip product, the 4004, in 1971 and has been building on that success ever since. The company has grown into a computer hardware juggernaut thanks to IBM using Intel's 16-bit 8088 chips in all its PCs, its strategic alliance with Microsoft, and the Pentium chip in the early 90s. It pulled away from the competition to seemingly become one of Silicon Valley's Teflon Dons. Congratulations, John. But like John Gotti, they can't rule forever, can they? This life ends one of two ways, dead or in jail. Intel's 10 nanometer processors were met with delays, production bottlenecks, and disappointing performances. Countering that, AMD plans to earn its market share in the most beautifully romantic way by pure engineering. Competitive pricing and stellar performance from Ryzen chips have left consumers with happier eyes and thicker wallets, leaving them with more dough for games in 2020, unless you're talking about the new Ryzen 9 series, which can be pricey compared to Intel's Core i9. And with new games looking bigger and badder than ever, we the people have become like James Earl Jones when selecting the 1989 US Karate Team. We are looking for the best of the best. That is, of course, in terms of graphics, speed, and frames per second. Look for AMD's newly launched 5000 series to cause many gamers to switch from the blue party to the red. As many testers have concurred that the new 5000 series Ryzen chips outperform the new Intels on almost every level, AMD is in competition with itself as it sets to crush its own achievements like the way it showcased how well the 5900 XT outperformed its own 3900 XT. And the Radeon 6900 XT coming on December 8, 2020 promises to crush that. This is a monumental turnaround from AMD as they were almost bankrupt just three short years ago. Maybe like Eric Roberts in Best of the Best, they had to be tested right down to their very souls in order to reinvent themselves into the hallmark of engineering excellence gamers have come to know in 2020. You give everything you've got, everything, you'll be winners. In the mid to long run, the brief history of the computer chip and processor market has shown us that it isn't just smaller, better designed, more efficient pieces of hardware that determines who sits at the head of the table. Strategic partnerships are what makes more money, which allows for more research and development, more innovation, etc. Intel is now partnering with Apple as it makes the chips for its iPhones, AMD makes the chips for the Xbox Series X and S and the PlayStation 5, as well as the 7nm Ryzen 4000 chips for desktops, all of which drop this year. NVIDIA makes the RTX 2060 GE Force graphics card, and Intel makes the 10th gen processor for the Dell XPX laptop which I'm editing on right now. So even though Ryzen is one of the big tech comeback stories of the year, it's not all about consumers' quest for power, but their need for convenience. The money, and therefore the market share, goes to the company who gets the most carriers of its chips in the most desired products. The war for computer chip market share is far from over, but we can say that Ryzen fought its best battle in 2020, and the winners have been the gamers. That's a pretty sweet deal for our passive involvement in this fight, right? What do you think of the Intel Ryzen rivalry? Do you have an allegiance to one brand or the other, or does it switch with the wind? Let us know in the comments down below, and like and subscribe for more from the gamer. We out.